other side haven't got their hands down. <coughs> if it goes down to you at the catch, it's because you have dropped your hands. Now, if it goes down to me at the finish, it's because I've dropped my hands, the partner hasn't, to balance me. If it goes down to me at the catch, it's because my hands have dropped and my partner's hasn't. The same thing. But we don't want the blades high up in the air at the catch, do we? We want them down to the water. We do want them high off the water at the finish because we want to clear the water and we haven't got much room, we've got a thigh. So it's a golden rule, you must go round to your thigh, clear your knee and float your hands up. And then let the boat roll, don't fight the boat. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to row three boats all the way back down and we're going to have a base rate of 22. And we're going to try to increase the speed of our boat at that rate. And if one boat gets left behind or drops back, I will say, increase your rate to 23. If the crew goes in front by too far, I will tell that crew to reduce its rate to 21. What we're doing is making you more efficient for every stroke you take because you haven't got the latitude of increasing the rate of striking unless you're asked to do so. It'll make you work together as a crew, more efficient at the catch, more efficient at the finish. That's what we're going to look for. Okay? So we start. Just paddle up, that's why I wanted to, because we drift with the wind. Paddle up again, turn, come together, <coughs> and we'll start. Paddle up.
Jackson are going to call for different emphasis on different parts of the stroke to see what effect it has on the speed of the boat compared with the other crews.
pulled into the bank. So the crew that always, always last moves out to the front of the pack. It's good coxing practice. You've got to learn how to steer the boat, how to pass another boat without hitting it, but without going out into the middle of the stream either. It's a change of pace. During the paddling life, you can think about relaxing, you can think about bearing the catches. When you're paddling firm, especially about those points. Okay. Yeah, just slow it up in the first boat. Slow it up in the first boat. Just close the gap in the second one. Just close the gap in the third boat. When the boat's closer together, Thank you. 